thanks so much for coming by today. We're gonna try out some brownie cookies from Magnolia Cookbook, volume number three. So what better creation than brownie and cookies combined together, two of my favorite things. So let's get started. Okay, so our first step is to take our two cups of morsels or semi-sweet chocolate and our butter, and we're gonna head over to the microwave and melt this down in 20 second intervals, stirring after each interval. So the point is to get this as melted as possible, nice and smooth and creamy, and then we're gonna let that cool for about 20 minutes before we start combining the rest of our ingredients. So let's head over to the microwave and start melting away. There we go, 20 seconds on the board. First 20 seconds down. We got some melting action already happening. Okay. Another 20 seconds on the board. Okay. 20 seconds. This is nice and smooth. So we're gonna let this cool for about 20 minutes. That way we can throw this in with the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so before we sift and mix everything, I am going to take, this is just out of the microwave, so I'm gonna put this right into our stand mixer and let this cool in here. So we have just about another 18 minutes before this is fully cooled, but I am transferring this over. Now, so we have our flour, our baking powder, our Dutch processed cocoa, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. So I'm gonna sift this together. I mean, talk about chocolate, chocolate on chocolate, right? there. Okay, I think we're ready for this. So we're going to wait another 10-12 minutes, then we're going to combine our eggs, our sugars, vanilla extract, and then get these in the oven. Okay, so our chocolate mixture is cooled. It's been 20 minutes, so let's combine the rest of our ingredients. So we have three eggs, One, Ooh. and three. Okay. We're gonna add in some sugar. Whoa, hello sugar. Okay. All right, we have some brown sugar. Extract and we're gonna mix away. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna scrape some sides, run it through again, and then we'll add in our flour mixture. Okay. So let's add in our flour mixture. Okay, mix this up. It definitely smells like brownies, for sure. Okay, so the last step is to add in the rest of our morsels, which is about a half a cup. We're gonna just very briefly incorporate this. Okay, and incorporate it. <laughs> okay. 
that easy. Okay, so I'm gonna grab our pans, I'm gonna wash my hands to get rid of these bowls, and then we're gonna put these onto, the, onto our parchment paper on the pans and let them chill for about 45 minutes before we throw them into the oven. So, give me a few and we'll get back to this. Okay, so it's time to scoop out our brownie cookie. So I have an ice cream scooper. I'm gonna try this. I don't really use the ice cream scooper all that much, but let's see. So she says to just plop these in. It does not need to be, uh, you know, certain amount of part, away apart from each other just because we're gonna end up getting onto the other parchment paper and uh, using that to bake this. But remember, this is going in the fridge to chill for 45 minutes. And I thought I could get more than three in a row, but I cannot. Can I? Oh, I can do it. And I feel like these are really big. I might make start making them a little bit smaller. In the picture they look really big, but she also says this makes 35 cookies. So Okay, here they are. Let's throw this in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes to let them get chilled and hardened, and then we'll pop them out, throw them in the oven for about 14 minutes. Okay, so it's been actually just about an hour since we put these in the refrigerator to chill. So I am gonna portion these out so that at least there's 12 on each, or at least, and pop them in the oven for about 12 minutes at 375. So I'm just gonna grab them. They're definitely, they definitely got hardened in the refrigerator, so that's good. Let's pop these over. Okay. Okay. So let me make this a little bit easier and prettier. Spaced out a little bit more before I put them in the oven. I probably next time will actually put them on the baking sheet exactly how I want them to go in the oven, uh, just to avoid having this step, but as long as I have room, <laughs> at least I should say in the refrigerator. Okay, so we have our brownie cookies ready to go. I'm going to pop them in the oven for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, we'll be able to try these out. minutes see in 12 okay so it's been just about 13 minutes I put it in for 13 minutes instead of 12 I opened it up saw it could use a little bit more so let's take it out of the oven let it cool and then try them oh, here's one number two Oot. Okay, we'll let these cool and then give them a try. All right, it's time to try our brownie cookie. So soft. Yum. Wow, it is so good. It's definitely gonna be part of my cookie rotation. It's a perfect combination of having a brownie and having a cookie. It is so, so delicious. I love it. Worth the chilling and the time that went into it for sure. 
I know these will be a hit for my friends and family that we have over. So check it out. Let me know what you think if you do make it. Thanks so much for coming by to watch us make this from Magnolia Cookbook, volume number three. I'll catch you next time. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so now that our mixture is just out of the microwave, I'm gonna throw it into our mixing uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. We're combining two cups, okay. Okay, oh wait, actually, I'm gonna turn this one on. Me likey. Yummy! <laughs>